So now I'm going to show you how to load the beads. So the first thing uh, that we, we want to do is get all our materials. So we have a pipette, pipette tips. We have our array that's been soaking in bead loading buffer for about 10 minutes under vacuum. We do that to remove any air that might be down in the wells that would prevent the beads from going down. And right here in this tube, I've got my beads. So I've got about uh, 100,000 beads that are suspended in 200 microliters of bead loading buffer. So now that I've got everything, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, suction off the uh, bead loading buffer from the device, but not from the surface of the device. What I'm really trying to do here is uh, to dry out the surface of the dish so that as I'm loading my beads, my, my device won't move around on me, potentially knocking beads off into the dish. So I want to keep all of my beads on the top of my, of my micro well device so that they have a chance to actually go down in wells. So this is a critical part of that. So just making sure that it's completely dry. So now that it's dry, one thing that I'm gonna do is move it uh, caddy corner within, within the dish. So uh, you can see what I did. Let me demonstrate that one more time. So rather than having it, it parallel with the edge of the, the dish, I want it slightly off, angle, off center. So I'm gonna move it over and now it won't, uh, the beads won't fall out or go in, be pulled down into the dish. So now I'm gonna load 200 microliters of my beads, just pipetting directly onto the surface of, of my array, drop by drop. So there's 200 microliters, and now I'm just going to add one drop at a time. And you can see the pattern of the, of the beads. So I'm just going back and forth, drop by drop. until the entire surface of the device is covered. And as I'm looking, I can see areas that have better coverage than others. So I can, I can move the beads around, but here you can see that the beads are generally cover, covering the entire surface of the device. So what I can do is rock the device gently back and forth. I, I like kind of this uh, this motion where I'm, I'm going in um, the X, Y, and Z plane at the same time. So to, to get an even distribution of beads across the surface. Now one thing that you can do is um, you, can, you can intermittently rock to um, let the beads settle in. So they need to be um, still to actually fall into the wells. But then um, uh, we want to allow the beads to run to one side. So the hardest part of the array to load, in my experience, is the edges. So we want to allow some of the beads, we just want to lift, I, I'm, I'm lifting up the left edge of the, the dish right now, no more than five or 10 degrees, but that is letting the, the beads collect to the right side, which I hope you can, you can see on the video. Um, and so what that's gonna allow me to do is slowly collect the beads on the right side of the device so that I get, I get all of the edge wells loaded with beads. Now I can let this sit here until, and give those time to load. So now another thing that I can do, um, I typically then try to move, the, move the, the unoccupied beads to the other side and do the same thing on the other side of the device. And um, so what I can keep doing that. So you can see, you can see I have a line, of, a line of beads here on the left side, right here. So what that allows me to do is reposition uh, the beads on the surface of the device um, by just moving it back and forth. And one thing you wanna be careful of, my device just moved on me, so you wanna reposition it. Make sure that you keep it um, unevenly spaced within the, within the dish at all times. So, so now another thing that you can do is you can take your pipette and actually manually reposition. If you notice you've looked under the microscope and you see a certain area of the, of the device is not well covered, you can actually take your, take your beads and move them to another spot on the device. So um, using these techniques, um, you, can, you can generally get um, most of the device loaded really easily. Um, the final thing that you can do is actually stick it on, back on the rotator 
like it is right now for about five minutes. This is something that I often like to do um, after I've done this, and I, it, it helps to just fill in the gaps um, to, that, that manual loading might have missed. So um, after this, you're ready to uh, move on to washing. So you've looked at your, your array, you think it's sufficiently loaded, it's ready to go. So now you can just uh, move to the washing procedure that's outlined in the protocol.